Welcome to the Spark interview preparation course. In this section, I'll answer real and latest interview questions. I am collecting questions from my students and learners and bringing them here to answer. You can also ask your questions and bring them to me for discussion. If you are an aspiring data engineer attending interviews, you can post real questions to me. You can share your questions with me even if you are an interviewer taking interviews. If your question looks authentic and interesting, I will discuss it and create a video to answer. How to send your questions to me? Follow me on LinkedIn and send me a one-to-one -one message with your question. You can still message me even if you are not connected with me on LinkedIn. Make sure you mention your name and interviewing company. Do mention the question and a follow-up question. Please include all the relevant details so I can prepare a good answer. Great. So let's start with today's question. How many executors will you assign for a 10 GB file in HDFS? And we have a follow-up question. How many cores are needed for each executor? And what amount of memory is required for each executor? Let's try to dissect the question. We have two critical things in this question. Executors, 10 GB file in HDFS. So the interviewer tells us the data volume and asks about the required number of executors. How do we approach this question? Here is the roadmap to give this calculation. Find the number of partitions. Then find the CPU cores for maximum parallelism. Then find the maximum allowed CPU cores for each executor and finally, number of executors will be equal to total cores divided by executor cores. Let's do the calculation. The default partition size for Spark is 128 MB. Your data volume is 10 GB, which equals to 10,240 MB. Divided by 120 MB default partition size and you will get 80 partitions. So we have 80 partitions and need 80 cores for maximum parallelism. So we got the answer for 1 and 2. We have 80 partitions and we need 80 cores. What is the maximum allowed CPU cores for each executor? You are using HDFS. So you must use YARN resource management. The recommended maximum CPU cores for the YARN cluster are 5. So you can give 5 cores to each executor. And that gives us final answer. Number of executors equal to total cores which are 80 divided by executor cores which is maximum 5. So you need 16 executors. That's your answer for this question. Now let me come to the follow up question. How many cores are needed for each executor and what amount of memory is required for each executor? We have two parts in this question. How many cores are needed for each executor and amount of memory required for each executor? We already answered the first one. You need five cores per executor. Now let's take up the second question. How much memory is required for each executor? Here is the roadmap for memory calculation. Find the partition size. Assigned a minimum of 4x memory for each core. Multiply it by executor cores to get executor memory. Let's apply it. We already know the partition size. We have default 128 MB partitions. <coughs> we can multiply it by 4 resulting in 
512 MB of memory required for each core. The last step is to multiply it by executor cores. We have 5 cores per executor. So multiply 512 by 5 and you get 2560 MB. That's the recommended minimum memory per executor. We can round it to the nearest GB and assign 3 GB of memory per executor. And that should be fine. Great. Hope it made sense. Do you want more? Share your real interview questions. I am also active on LinkedIn and follow link is available below. See you again. Keep learning and keep growing.